Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do bulk updates and bulk deletes in Flask SQL Alchemy. So if you're familiar with SQL Alchemy already, then you're probably already familiar with how to update and delete a single row. But in this video, I'll show you how to do that to multiple rows at the same time. So you're not dealing with just one object. In fact, you won't be dealing with objects at all. You'll just be updating multiple rows or deleting them based off of a query. But before I get into that, I want to show you my Flask cheat sheet. This cheat sheet shows you various things that you would probably use in a typical Flask app. So I think it's pretty useful if you are somewhat new to Flask. If you want to download this cheat sheet, just go to prettyprinted.com slash Flask cheat sheet, all one word. And there's also going to be a link in the description below. So in this video so far, I have some code written. It's really basic here. I just instantiated SQL Alchemy and I have my database set up. So I'll do most of the stuff from the command line, but first I need to set up a table so I can create some records in this table to demonstrate how to update and delete. So I'm going to create a very simple table. Let's call this data and it's going to inherit db.model of course because I'm using flash SQL alchemy and then I want to create an ID column so the ID will be db column and then this column will be an integer and the primary key for this column will be set to true and then I'll have a second column that's just going to be a random value so I'll call this letter I'll just make it like a random letter because I don't need real data to demonstrate this so I'll just use some really simple data so it's going to be a string column so one character just a letter and it won't be a primary key so I don't have to add anything beyond that all right so now that I have that I can go to the command line and start up the Python REPL and what I want to do is I want to import DB from this model file that I have so from model import DB and what I'll do once that is imported is I'll create all to create the table in my database. So if I look at my database, um, I think it's called bulk.db. And if I look at the tables, I see data, which is the table that I created. So I'll start the Python REPL again and I'll import db. So from model, import db. And along with db, I'll also import data which is the class I just created. So I'm just going to create some random data into my database. So to do that from random import choice, and I'll also have this list of choices. So choices is going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. All right, so what I'm going to do is for that letter column in the data table, I'm going to have a random letter from those choices be inserted into the column for each one that I generate. So what I want to do is I want to create, let's say 100. So I am going to loop. So for I in range, say one to 100, or 101 so I can get 100 exactly. So I don't need to actually use the value I for anything because I just wanna loop over 100 times. But what I do wanna do is I want to create a row. So I need to instantiate an item using data and the letter is going to be choice and it's going to take a choice from choices. So if you're not familiar with how choice from random works, basically it randomly selects something out of the list that you pass into the function. So choice of choices will give me one of those letters A through G randomly. So I'll do that and then I'll add it to the session. So DB session add and I'll do that. So it should have looped over 100 times and added 100 rows to the database. So I'll do DB session commit. And now let's take a look at the database. So I'll start up SQLite again. So bulk.db, select star from data. And you see here that I have 100 rows and the second column in each one of the rows is just one of those letters that I specified. So one is D, two is F, three is G, four E, and so on. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to show you how to actually update and delete in bulk. So I'll start with update. 
So I'll have to go back to the Python REPL. And of course, you can use this in your Flask code. I'm just showing you how to use it on the REPL because I don't need to build a full app around this. I can show you on the REPL and it would be the same idea. Instead of writing the code in the REPL, you just write it in your source file. So I need to import from model import db and data again. So now the first thing I want to do is I want to query for everything that is the letter, let's say A. So the typical way of doing this is, let's say A for everything that is a letter A. I would do data.query and then I will filter by and then letter equals A. And if I type all after this, it will give me every single instance where the second column, the letter column is equal to A. So if I look at A, I have 11 values in the database that have A as the letter. So instead of running the dot all at the end of the query, if I wanted to update this, it'd be very simple. Instead of calling all, as you can probably guess, I would call update. So to do this, I'm going to assign the value of this update statement to the variable updated. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when you call update, it returns how many rows have been updated. So you don't need to return anything. You can leave it as something that doesn't be a, get assigned to any value when it returns. But just for demonstration purposes here, I'm going to show you how many rows get updated. So I'm going to write that exact same query. So query.filter by, and then letter is going to be equal to A. But instead of typing all, which will actually return a query to me, I'm going to type update. Now inside of the update, what I want to do is I want to update all the letters. So I can do that by typing data.update, or data.letter, excuse me, and then a colon. So first, this needs to be a dictionary. So data letter, and then I'm going to specify the new value that I want. So instead of being A, I want it to be B. So I'll close out this dictionary. And as you can imagine, if I wanted to update other values, then I would specify them as the second key value in the dictionary. So data letter, let's say I had a third column called number, then I have data number and then a colon and then the new number that I want. So when I run this and then I print update it, I see 11. So that's telling me that 11 rows were updated. And of course I need to commit this because I just update it and it's a transaction. So I hit commit. So now what I'll do is I'll run that same query that I ran at the beginning. So this a equals data dot query filter by letter a and then all, and I'll look at a, and now there's nothing in it. So I no longer have any values in the database with the letter A. So let me take a look at my SQLite database again. So SQLite three and then bulk.db, select star from data. And just looking at this, do I see any values with the letter A in them? And I do not. That's because I updated them all to be B. So pretty simple if I do select star from data, where letter equals A, I get nothing. If I do letter equal B, then I get all these columns here. And that's more than you would get by random, and that's only because I updated them to be B directly. So now I'll do deletes. So deletes are extremely similar to updates, but as you can imagine, there's no values being passed into the delete function. It's just delete because you don't really do anything with delete other than delete. So what I'll do is from model import DB and data again, and I'll run a query for B this time. So data dot query, I'll filter by, and then letter is going to be equal to B. And keep in mind that this query can be any kind of query you can write in SQL alchemy. So this could have joins, it can have multiple filter conditions or whatever. I'm just showing you the simplest case because all the other cases are just built on top of this. So if you know how to write queries in SQL Alchemy, then you'll know how to bulk delete and bulk update things with more complicated queries. But that's beyond the scope of the video to write more complicated queries. So I will run all on this and I'll look here 
and I see quite a few values. And if I do the length of B, I see there are 24 values for B in the database at the moment. So now what I want to do is I want to delete them. So to delete them, I'm going to run data, query, filter by. So the same query, letter B, but instead of all and instead of update, I'm going to simply call delete. So delete. It returns the number of rows that were deleted. So in the same way that update returns the number of rows that were updated, delete returns the same the number of rows that were deleted. And as you can see, it was 24. So I will commit this. And then I'll run that original query again. So B equals data, query, filter by, and then letter is B and return all. If I look at B, I have nothing. And if I look at the database itself, let's see bulk and then select star from data. I see I am now missing quite a bit of data. So it goes one, two, three, four, there's no five, six, seven, no eight and nine, there's no 11 and so on because I deleted all the rows in the database where the column value of the letter was B. So this is a lot more useful than just deleting one single row from the database because oftentimes you will need to delete a lot of data according to some query. And this is what's done in regular SQL. So of course, SQL Alchemy would have to have a way for you to accomplish that using it. So that's pretty much all I want to show you in this video. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward to delete and update things in bulk. If you have any questions about doing this, you can always leave a comment down below and I will respond to you. I try to respond to every single comment. The only time I don't respond to a comment is when YouTube fails to notify me. These days I get a lot of comments. So if you are one of the unlucky few that doesn't get a response from me, then just know it's YouTube's fault. <laughs> so that's it for this video. Like I said, if you want to get the Flask cheat sheet, just go to prettyprinted.com slash flask cheat sheet, all one word. It's going to be in the description below as well, the link. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. And that's it. So I'll talk to you next time.